everyone. It's Lori with Time Traveling Treasures. It is Thursday, so that means I am out doing my thrifting. I do thrifting on Tuesdays and Thursdays and on the weekends if I can sneak into it. Uh, so on Tuesdays, I, there's three thrift stores that I usually go to. CHQD, Goodwill, and Village Thrift. That's up on my side of the town where I live. And then on the other part of town, uh, there is a DAV, which is Disabled American Veterans, a, another CHKD, a Habitat for Humanity, and a Goodwill. <laughs> so for a small town, we have quite an abundance of thrift stores, which makes me very happy because that's what I do. That's my job. So I am currently at the DAV and I have not been here in a while. I don't come here very often because it is further out uh, and it's hard to just stop by. Uh, but I thought, decided I'd go ahead and check and see what they have and if it seems like a place that is going to work out for me, I might add it in with the Thursday cycle or at least, you know, make make it a make it a, a habit to stop by and see what's here so i'm going to go inside i have not filmed here before i'm going to see how it goes um, and hopefully i'll be able to get some footage if i'm not able to get some footage i will report back to you and let you know how it goes so right now i am heading in <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back. That took about five minutes, maybe, and I did a quick pass through um, just to give you an idea of the pricing in there. Let's flip to this. So that was just an example of the pricing in there. Um, I think there's probably someone in the back that is watching some YouTube videos. <laughs> That's all I can think of. And they know what things are worth on a retail level. Uh, there was this one man, bless his sweet, sweet heart. He was in there fussing at this poor worker. And he was looking at the stock pots, the big huge pots that you boil corn in, as he said. And he was very upset. He was very upset with the pricing and the people in the back didn't know what they were doing and that they had to price the things to sell and that this wasn't going to sell and it was just going to end up being scrap metal and in a, in a dump. And what a shame because it could cook some mighty good corn for somebody and he just wasn't having the prices either so I don't know maybe they get that a lot uh it wasn't great there was yeah it was a lot of high expensive priced things they had a it was from like the in I'd say 90s uh, like a little Christmas statue of a house that was decorated and they wanted twenty five dollars for that. That's probably that's probably what it cost retail, like when it was first purchased. I don't know. I don't know who's doing the pricing. I wouldn't say they were thrift store prices. Uh, I know that there's talk of thrift store prices going up. I've seen a little bit of fluctuation, but not quite that much. They had a few things marked down, but nothing. Um, Nothing that really caught my eye. So, I'll check back from time to time and see what they've got. I have found some things in there. I honestly have found some things in there. I think what I just have to do is just catch something that someone didn't try and price for selling at an antique store or a Target or... I'm not sure what's happening. But... Regardless of whether or not it benefits me, I hope that they are selling things to benefit the cause because it is a wonderful cause. And with that said, I support them fully. 
Now we're going to move on. We are going to go to CHKD and see if they have anything. Um, if you watched my last video where I went to that CHKD, the one with the bloopers, uh, it, it's a it's a very short little section um, of vintagey type things. So we're going to move on and appreciate the CHKD for what it is <laughs> and check back every great now and then, but probably not going to go on the circuit. So let's get started at the CHKD. Okay, everyone. All right, I am now at CHKD. I'm gonna go in here and see what they've got. I should be able to film you. Um, so I realized that when I went into the JV, I probably smelled like I'd just gotten out of a bar or <laughs> a wine drinking. I, don't, I have this hand sanitizer because, you know, coronavirus, right? And the hand sanitizer is, it's like a black cherry Merlot, which smells absolutely delicious, except now I smell like wine. I mean, I guess there's worse things I could smell like, right? Okay, so I'm going to go in here. Fingers crossed. We're going to find something today, all right? Let's go. So here we are at Sage KD. I keep eyeing this piece. I think I'm gonna bring it home next time if it's still there. Here I go again. There we go. See, isn't that better? If it seems like I'm kind of going back and forth and dosy -si doing and square dancing. It's because there were a lot of people there and I had to kind of navigate. I liked this piece, but there was a few chips on it that I just uh, didn't feel comfortable taking a gamble on. Isn't that pretty how it sparkles? I think at some point all of this clear glass is going to come back in style and everyone's going to be buying it up. We're going to be searching the thrift stores for it. I feel it. My mom had this pattern when I was growing up. And my sister still collects it, and I was going to pick it up for her, but um, I think she already has this size. This I fell in love with. But it has that chip right there. There was almost a whole set of this, but they wanted seven dollars for each teacup trio. And I always check the rose medallion, rose mandarin, those types of things. But this one's newer.
Okay. I just went to see HKD. I don't know if you can see back there. Back. Um, get my finger right. Back there. Right there. It says they're hiring. I think I should just get a job at CHKD. I can just source every day when I'm at work and just like hold back the good stuff and just put out the other stuff. Or, yeah, I don't think that <laughs> don't think that would work, do you? So I'm just I don't know what to say. CHKD was not great. But then I think back to the last time I was there and I found those really beautiful decanters. So you can't just not go, you know, you have to go. You just have to be flexible and understand that sometimes there's going to be treasures there for you and sometimes there's going to be treasures there for someone else. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff in there that people are looking for and they're happy that they found what they needed. But that wasn't me today. <laughs> that, that wasn't me. So, I made a decision. My decision is to just go to the Overflowing Goodwill. I think that's what it's going to be called from now on. It's technically called the Turnberry, Turnberry, Turnberry Thrift Store, uh, Goodwill. I'm just going to call it the Goodwill that overfloweth. That's going to be its name. So, I'm going to go there. I got a snack. Apparently I have some wine and we are going to see what happens. And here we go with the Goodwill, what I've been waiting for all week. They already have a lot of Easter stuff out. Like that little guy. Isn't he cute? I really like this plate. This is a Homer Lachlan plate. And I'd actually considered getting it, but some of the um, design work was chipping quite a bit. And I liked these two prints of the little scarecrow boy and the girl. Um, I thought they were pretty neat. That kind of style is pretty popular. There's a very unique following for it. And I liked this art glass vase. But I checked the company and other like it on eBay and it wasn't um, really doing that well. I loved this blue compote covered candy dish, however you want to call it. Uh, I thought it was really pretty with the blue satin glass. There were quite a few chips and dings on it, as with that piece. Whenever I see that, I always wonder, did that come to the thrift store like that? or? Did it happen from being piled in a bunch of other things?
There's a few things that I've come across um, at this Goodwill where there wasn't a price on it and they will not sell it to you if there's not a price on it. They'll just put it back in the back to be restocked. That was a Moulin Rouge mug. I love the movie Moulin Rouge and I like the artwork. So I'm really glad I found this. It's Dresden. Mikasa. I was trying to figure out, is that a dog walking a dog, or a fox walking a dog, or... Couldn't figure that out. I thought these glasses were really nice. They're very mid-century modern, with the black and the gold. They say that styles cycle around every hundred years, so that would mean all of the 1920s is going to be coming back in the deco scene. Um, I know that there's a few um, bands like Postmodern Jukebox and a lot of people that like that style music and they're bringing things back. I wonder if it's going to go for decor as well. And have you guys noticed any increase in that style? I really liked this mug, but unfortunately it had a giant crack that went straight through. So I had to dig a little bit because I saw a scrapbook and it looked like an old scrapbook so I thought maybe there was some old pictures or things in there but there wasn't. I think it was a newer scrapbook that was made to look old. Or it was an old scrapbook that was still new. There's another bunny. They're just hiding everywhere. They're getting ready for spring. This guy's too cute to be hiding in the back. I like these birds. I like the lines. I think I have way too many things to do to be able to fit them on that board. 
Okay, I don't know what they did, but they are in serious trouble. Whatever they did. Must have been bad. That is a really big duck face. I wonder if it was maybe like an umbrella holder, because it, it was really, really big. I thought these guys were cute. Unfortunately, they were missing parts. That should be in the Christmas. See, they just need me to come in here and just reorganize everything. This really caught my eye. I liked the holder. I liked the bowl. I liked the everything. I just liked everything about it. The thing that was surprising to me is it was obviously from another thrift store and it was originally 198 and then it was marked down to 98 and then when Goodwill got it they priced it at 225 so maybe maybe they should have wiped off the original price <laughs> before they put their sticker on and in case you're ready for Halloween they got you covered they're ready and Thanksgiving And that's gonna do it. Well, hello again. I finished up with Goodwill. It was nice. It wasn't quite as overflowing as the last time, so I don't know if they cleared out some space or people just got in there and grabbed up all the stuff. Uh, but it was pretty full. I did some videoing, so you'll be able to see that. Uh, I am going to do a haul video tomorrow to show you all of the lovely things that I got. There are some things I put back, there are some things I picked up again, and then put back again, and picked up again. So I'll go over everything that I got, everything that I didn't get, and why I put it back. Um, maybe me and those lovely things will cross paths again someday in a thrift store some someplace in the distance, and we'll come together again in the right time, in the right place. Or maybe not. Maybe they'll find a home with some else that can love them and appreciate them. So that's going to do it for me. I really, really appreciate you being here. I enjoy spending time with you guys. Please consider subscribing so we can do it again. That would be great. I am going to sign off for now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.